Would you believe? I think we have a John Kerry Day. Southern Ontario in February. Even the birds are awake. Let's see what we're let's see what kind of trouble we can get up to in here today. Oh. I was out earlier, had the fire going. Couldn't get seem to get myself motivated. So went in the house and fell asleep, took a nap. But uh, we left you off last week. I had the fender welded on. Done deal. All welded good. I was, uh, you know, drilling holes and plug welding and all that wonderful stuff. Uh, when I started this project, I was looking for a spot welder. Couldn't find one. So, I went that route. Drilling holes. Spot welding. Now, I come across one of these little guys. Nice little setup. Uh, I was testing it earlier, didn't film anything, I apologize, but uh, I did a few tests like that, very strong, you gotta hold it, you gotta time it right, and obviously the little ones didn't hold because I didn't leave it on long enough, but a couple seconds, boom, boom, there it goes, it's a spot weld and it's solid, good penetration, one problem is, you've gotta have clean metal all four sides, and in doing this kind of work, that means I've got to have this clean, that clean, the next side, the next side, and that's great. You clamp it, you're done. But then I can't protect that layer of metal. This is bare metal now. I kind of prefer the way I've been doing it in the sense that I paint it, grind off just the area I'm working on. Yeah, sure, that's still unprotected, but uh, it's a little less intrusive. But I'm gonna try the weld through primer to see if it conducts through that too. I was just doing some experiments. I had stuff with the E-coat and it won't conduct through that obviously. So I'm gonna try a piece with the uh, weld through primer on it and see if it conducts through that. If that's the case, then that's how we'll go after we clear all the metal down. So, uh, we'll do a few tests on that. We'll bring you back if there's something exciting to show you. See ya. Okay, weld through primer. Test number one, coated both sides, well one side with weld proof primer, which would be your mating surfaces in this case. Uh, basically the way this works, I uh, probably should have a glove on because I think it gets pretty hot. I, uh, is, so these are your two pieces you want to join together. I haven't even tried this yet, I don't know if it will conduct or not. So you can place it in there. It says not to put a lot of pressure on it because more pressure requires more resistance, I guess, something like that. But anyways, a couple seconds. It is working. But I don't think that stuck. Ooh, it did. What do you know? I don't see a burn mark on the outside though. Let's try a couple more and then I'll take it apart. Well through primer. Well, two primer burns. All right, looks at things. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's what it did. It did conduct through the weld through primer. I'm gonna let that cool down a minute. Maybe one more spot, just for uh, maybe not as long this time. Get it nice and hot enough to do the job very quiet obviously she's sticking good so I'm gonna cut this apart in a few seconds here and we'll see what kind of uh, job it does with the weld through primer that may be the road I'm going then it gets lets me know that it gets sealed up inside well, bring it back. there's the results one of the spots did not penetrate at all it saw, I thought it did it got red hot and everything else but it didn't actually stick together but one did uh, I had to break that to get it apart. Uh, I'm not sure what the weld through primer serves other than uh, the areas around it, but it does allow it to conduct electricity through it, which you need to have for this to work. Um, myself, I don't know if that's the way that weld proof primer is supposed to spray out. It sprays out kind of like 
like, uh, I don't know, like stucco or something. It doesn't really lay out like I used to see in primer. Uh, I've heard there's another kind out there, a copper version of it, that's supposed to be better. This is a zinc. So maybe I'll do a little exploring, see if I can find that somewhere, just to try either one. But there you go, guys, a uh, Princess Auto spot welder, 110 volt. Does what it says it does. Uh, the problem is it's about, oh, I'd say about 50 pounds. So it might be a little difficult getting it up inside some of these fenders and whatnot, but I'm going to take a crack at it because that's the cat's ass. Sorry, I've been absent on my videotaping here. Uh, the uh, welder is working out. Uh, just a royal pain in the butt because it's heavy. But uh, this is what the result is. Uh, nice and strong. It's in there good. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me turn the light on for you. For okay, just two now seconds. we got a little bit of light. So up underneath there, you can see the penetration. Well, I don't know if it, you'd call it penetration or it's just uh, heat generated by the uh, spot welder. So I know she's good. It's good and attached. Nothing's taken that apart. Of course, there's some spots I can't get that into because of the size of the jaws. But I was able to do a few along here like this. Uh, which prompted me to come up with a plan for sealing inside of there. Uh, I had that question on the last fender, but uh, there's a point right in here where the two fenders meet. What I did was put a big old bead of seam sealer in there. Don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. It's already getting dust all over it. But anyways, it's uh, squished together nicely. Heat not being a problem with it. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. It'd be the first time for me seeing it too. But anyways, the fender is now mostly welded on. I have to cut a patch in this area here to fill that in. Uh, started going along here, same thing. Again, you know, you can't get the uh, that spot welder everywhere, but it's handy, but heavy. Whoa. It's not something I'll be uh, doing one hand and filming while I do it, that's for sure. But it does work. Uh, not much else to say, just plugging away. Uh, it's getting late, gonna take a break probably for tonight and uh, move on. Start up early, fresh and early tomorrow. I got a late start today, didn't get nothing done. See ya. Well. Not exactly the uh, early start I was hoping for. I think we're pushing 7 o'clock. Dogs just don't seem to wake me up as much early as they used to. But anyways, I got the trunk cleaned out. It was getting a little cluttered in there. It was becoming a tool shelf. Uh, today, I think I'm going to fit this for the last time. I don't see any other reason that I need to keep it off. Originally, it was to be able to reach in to weld stuff. All that welding's done now. I finished off all the little bits on the uh, trunk hinge and the drop-offs and everything that are supporting the car. They're all welded in. i got to get some from coming in from the other side. I'll be able to get the other side of these. Uh, laid out some little filler pieces that I've got. I had to uh, remove all the decals off them, so I labeled them left and right just to speed things up for me. Shouldn't be that hard to figure out once I start laying them in. Uh, and particular like this one here. I believe it's this side here which goes something like that. But I guess it tucks in behind here first. I'll have to figure that out. I may have to get this out to get this in, but it's got to be in there. And there's another piece that fills in between here and here. Um, bunch of little bits to get this lined up. I think I've got it lined up where it uh, will end up being. I've got the gaps reasonable here. I've got the trunk lid lining up with the fenders. Kind of looks like a car when she's all closed up. But uh, enough of you jibber jabber. I gotta get some welding done. I have not got much done this weekend. Uh, it's gonna put me behind. Anyways, back in. Coming together. See ya.
Okay, so I'm gonna just do a little clip here towards the end because I really haven't got anything done today. At least not in my mind. Uh, quick little walk around. Not much progress this weekend, but got a bit done. It's just hard to see it because having this rear panel off and on a dozen or so times fitting this piece to 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 this piece and making sure everything's 100% because I, I can't just start welding and then find out I've got something out of whack or not quite or quite right I think I'm actually going to drag out the bumper too and uh, put the bumper on there but uh, it's Sunday afternoon I had myself a senior moment and laid down and that was the end of it for me so that's going to be your update for this weekend. don't know what week we're on anymore, but uh, the old uh, computer will tell me so. So until next week, maybe we'll get a little bit more done next weekend. See ya. From Kuda Town.